Today, we're gonna to be looking at what's coming to Costco and what we think might possibly be in these bundle packs. Waffles in the morning, syrup sweet and slow. Golden stacks are rising, sunrise in the glow. Sticky choice so grand, breakfast on demand. Smile and take my hand in Waffle Wonderland. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to the Waffle Cast. So today, um, we're gonna to talk about these um, these Lord of the Ring Commander bundle packs that are coming to Costco. Now, we've seen the March of the Machine ones that just hit a couple months ago, um, but these ones are supposed to be out by the end of October, November time, it's supposed to be like generating sales for the holidays. Um, I find it interesting that Magic has been doing this more and more at Costco. I know a lot of people have been complaining, why doesn't Sam Club get it? Why doesn't other stores get this? Well, when you're the big Costco, then I guess you get all the fun stuff other than Amazon. But anyways, I digress. So we're gonna look at, um, what I'm gonna do is uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna go over like each deck, not not like entirety, but I'm gonna pick out like two of the, the expensive cards out of the deck, right? Cause each each of these decks are fairly, um, they, they have a fair amount of value in them, but I wanna go over what, I, what, what two cards are most valuable out of each one. Um, to give you guys a little bit of a, a heads up on which one you should, if you want to go for full dollar value, which one to go for, if maybe you're looking for a good card to put into your deck, you can look at the pre-con uh, deck list. I have them pulled up right now, but I'm not going to put them all on the screen because it just takes up a lot of room. But the point is we're going to go over it. We're going to do that. Um, we're going to talk about what the deck, what the little bundles entail in them. And then we're going to take a stab at what we think will be the promo cards that are being released. Cause they haven't said anything about what the promo cards are. So, <clears throat> or at least at the time of me recording this. So, um, if they have come out great, maybe I hit it on the money. Maybe not. Um, if you think you know what it might be, and I didn't say what I, what you thought, Put it down in the comments down below. I want to hear what you guys think might be these promo cards. I know a lot of people are thinking it's going to be the one ring like they did in the bundle. I don't think that's what's going to happen. But anyways, let's jump into it. So uh, Riders of Rohan is the first one I have pulled up here. And the two um, cards of value out of there are the um, fourth Ergolines. And it's the Create X2... Uh, X22 red human night creature tokens of trample and haste whenever one or more creatures you control deal combat damage of one or more players this turn you become the monarch so it's X white and red so it's a good way to just be like bum rush somebody if not multiple people you're just like coming at you know coming at them bro <laughs> making a bunch of uh, knights but this this deck plays blue white red and the main um, commander is arrow and shield maiden and she's a human knight so it's a lot of a lot of knights a lot of humans in this deck obviously um but the other deck or the other card in here fits well with this theme of what they're doing which is door of destinies this door of destinies enters the battlefield choose a creature type more than likely you're gonna choose human or knight uh, i think this deck you want to choose human most of the time whenever you cast a spell of the chosen type put a charge counter on door of destinies creatures you control the chosen type get plus one plus one for each car charge counter on door of destinies so you can proliferate it, you find ways to put more counters on it, things like that. It makes your creatures bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, and it is a four mana artifact that's basically usable in any, you know, type, uh, tribal type deck. So yeah. Um, last time I looked this deck, um, I'll put prices up for the decks um, when I do the editing process. I'm, I, MTG Goldfish has it at 68.47, but that was back you know when the deck first got spoiled so i don't think that's the current price tag for it but it could be um so anyways moving on to the next one which is elven council this is where you have gadriel El uh, elven queen i'm gonna butcher some of these names deal with it um and so this is more of a green blue elf deck um and the two cards out of here that are really like of good value are raise the palisade which is um it's four and a blue, choose a creature type, return all creatures that aren't of the chosen type to their owner's hand. So you obviously choose elves, bounce everything that isn't an elf. Now, if you play against somebody who's playing elves too, kind of defeats the purpose, but you know, it is what it is. Um, and then a classic heroic intervention. Uh, Swan Song is also in this deck, but I chose heroic intervention because it's just a good card. 
Permanency control, gain hexproof and indestructible to the turn. Cost one and a blue. I feel like it's much more powerful. Uh, has much more um, uh, scenarios that you'd want to have this card over Swan Song. So Heroic Intervention is the card number two out of this deck that I feel most players are going to be seeking after. Um, so at you know during June 11th of last year, this was a $96 deck. I don't think it's that now. Um, going to the next one, I'm going to go through these, like I said, relatively quickly just to give you guys a, a taste of what value is in these. So next is Food and Fellowship, which is an Abzan color deck. It's black, white, green. Um, you've got Toxic Deluge in here, which is a like a commander staple. Two and a black, an additional cost is cast a spell, pay X life. All creatures get minus X, minus X until end of turn. Um, and then the other card in here, I don't know why I'm having such a hard time finding. Oh yeah, the gaffer. Uh, he is a two and a white. He's a two, three creature. At the beginning of each instep, if you gain three or more life this turn, draw a card, which is really powerful in white. White doesn't have a ton of card draw. Green has some, black has some, but having that gaining life, getting a card is really powerful, especially since you're making tons of food tokens with this deck. So this deck's all about life gain and just, uh, you know, draining and gaining. <laughs> it was $69 at the, at the release, so uh, like I said, I'll have that stuff up there. But the most expensive deck of them all is the Host of Mordor. Uh, this is with Sauron, Lord of the Rings. As the commander, it is a Grixis color deck with blue, black, red. At time of, of release, it got up to $111 uh, for all the cards that are in it. The two um, cards of real value in this deck are Cavern Horde Dragon, which is a nine drop, seven and double bread. This spell costs X less to cast, where X is the greatest number of artifacts and opponent controls. Flying Trample Haste. Whenever it deals combat damage to the player, you create a treasure token for each artifact that player controls. So you're just making tons of treasures. Um, and then a card that can make it easy for it to get through and not be blocked is the Black Gate. This is the other card that people seek after. It's a very good land, legendary gate, legendary land gate. Um, as it enters the battlefield, you may pay three life. If you don't, it enters the battlefield tap. So it's a little bit more than a shock. It's like a lightning bolt land. <laughs> um, but you can tap it to add black, or you can pay one in a black and tap it. Choose a player with the most life or tied for the most life. The uh, target creature can't be blocked by creatures that player controls this turn. So if you got the horde dragon out and you want it to get through, you black gate somebody and boom, you swing through and make a ton of treasure tokens. And then you do a bunch of other stuff. Um, so it's a very Grixis control style deck with some fun stuff in it, but enough with reviewing the decks. Let's get into what these bundles actually have. So a majority, so the, the way these bundles work, if you've seen the, the latest Costco ones, they have promo cards, they have booster packs in them, and they have the commander decks. These are going to be, uh, I think it was $54.99 American. Now, Canadian, it, it goes up. I know they're going to sell them in Canada. I think they were saying the price point was like $74.99 for Canada. Um, but in, in total value, okay, you get four promo cards. You get the commander deck of your choice if you get there early enough and you don't, you know, it doesn't get bought up by a bunch of people. Um, and you get two set booster packs, okay? Uh, I think the set, uh, I'll put values up for the set booster packs. We'll, we'll, I'll do a total when I do the editing. But just based on that alone, without opening any of the packs, without knowing the promos are, that is already a good deal. Like paying $50, $55 with tax, depending on where you live, um, comes out to what, like 62 to $65 for two set boosters, a, a pre-con and four promos. I think that's a great deal. Here's the added bonus, right? You get two set boosters, which you could pull an Orcish Bowmasters. You could pull a bunch of other really, really good cards out of, right? And up your value. The other thing is, is these pre-cons come with the sample collector packs where you can get extended art pro, uh, foils of certain cards like the One Ring, like some of the valuable cards in the set. I mean, 
So just imagine you're already walking away with more than what you're paying in my opinion. And then you have the added bonus to like double, triple your money with the value of what you can open. So here's what I think the promos are gonna be, right? Um, I think it's too easy and and too obvious to be the one the the one ring bundle promos that they had, right? The one ring golem, Frodo, Sam. I do not expect it to be that. Now, if it's that, I'll tell you what these things are going to sell out like that. Okay, like they, people are not going to let these things sit on the shelves. First of all, with the one ring being what sixty bucks plus. Here's the other thing, right? I believe that the promos are gonna be one of two things, okay? Either it's gonna be a promo version of each of the commanders, you know, Sauron, Gadrilel, um, uh, Arrowin, and Frodo, or it's going to be um, uh, one of like, I think it's like the, the scenes like the, um, they did like the special Lord of the Rings little scene things that you could get. I think they're going to choose four of those to fit into that promo slot. And I, I, I really, either one, it doesn't seem enticing for the promos. Um, which I thought for the March of the Machine one, choosing Jason and Johnny was odd. Um, maybe they were just like, hey, we're just going to slap these promos in because we don't know what to do with them. And so that that third option that I'm thinking of is probably going to fall somewhere along that lines where they just grab four random promos. Um, they could um, grab like the um, I think it was out of the Lord of the Rings little tens. Um, there was the promo in that and a couple other like I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if they used that promo and some other ones and random like the Lana War Elves that came in that thing um, and a couple others. But I have a feeling that it's not going to be as good as people expected. Now, if they come out with some other promos that I didn't even think of that are actually really just straight fire, that would be good too. But I think with you already getting the value you're getting before the promos even hit, I think they're they're obviously not going to really go overboard with these promos. So I wouldn't get too excited for the promos. I would get excited to the fact that the two set boosters could net you some really good cards. And the pre-cons. You're getting a really good price for these pre-cons. So that's what I got for you guys today. If you uh, if you got something out of this, please stop by. Hit a subscribe. Uh, comment down below what you think. Maybe you agree with uh, some of the things I talked about with what promos they might be. Or uh, maybe you disagree and you think of a, a different set of four promos it'll be. Or maybe they throw us for a loop and they say four promos in there, but it's like a mixture like it's actually like 16 different promos and it's based on which one never you get or I don't know, whatever crazy ideas you guys are thinking of. But I'd love to hear them down below. But, uh, you know, I re really appreciate all this, all the help and support on the channel. Um, I mean, I'm super blessed with what you guys have done with this channel so far. So other than that, I don't want to take up too much more of your guys' time, but I just want to put something out there to give my two cents on this Lord of the Rings Costco bundle that's coming and what I feel is going to be, and I think it's a really great value. So um, if you got a little bit of extra cash and you want to dig into it and, and have some fun with it or just, you know, um, get something of good value, I think they're a great buy. I think it's it's really, really, really well costed. Man, tongue tester. Tister. Tongue twister. I can't even say that. Jesus. All right. Moving on. So anyways, hope you guys got some out of this. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Helps the channel out a lot. I thank you and I appreciate it. But most importantly, I hope you all have a wonderful day and stay syrupy, my friends. Waffles in the morning, syrup's eating slow. Golden stacks are rising, sunrise.